It's down where? It's the Final Fantasy journey. It's Final Fantasy 3. Let's continue. I love how uh, when I recorded this to put on the beginning of all my Final Fantasy 3 videos, I forgot that the cursor showed up in the video. Don't you? Enjoy! Alright, so now we can cross the scary bog of eternal shittiness and get to Gold House. Where the guy who's obsessed with gold lives. Gold Door Manor. Everything's gold! How obsessed with gold could he really be, though? That's what I want to know. Let's fight these, uh... Gold bears? What? Eh, that's just a coincidence. So let's check some other- oh, gold knights! Alright, and gold eagles? Jesus Christ. And gold warriors! Alright, we get it! You love gold! You're that villain from Austin Powers. I love gold! Gold guy! I found you! You will not take my crystal! Instead, you will take a sound thrashing! Silver's better than gold. Take that! That'll really demoralize him. Alright, eat his soul. It's made of gold. Do some cure action. Maybe a couple of blizzagas for flavor. That's right, tough guy. Ow! Prick. Oh man. Rufia's satanic at the moment with that 666 hit points. Pretty spooky. Six thirty-three. I thought that townsperson said that magic just bounced off of him. I guess we proved that wrong, huh? Doesn't do that much damage. What well, does some damage? Decent amount of damage, I guess. Oh, great! Another guy that does blind. Sweet. Awesome. Prick. All right. We got this guy. He ain't shit. And the bad thing about having the uh, Dark Knight is that I've got my best two swords equipped on him, so I get a shitty leftover sword for my knight, so he can't really do much of anything at the moment. He does a little bit of damage, I guess. And in a pinch, he can heal. So that's something. You're not that tough at all. You're just some freak who's obsessed with gold. That armor must be heavy as fuck. I'm pretty sure gold is heavy. Aha! Now I can see everything clearly. Let's try some Thundara, see how that works. Zero! Okay, so... I guess some magic just bounces off of him. And other magic doesn't. Alright. Oh, good. You're just gonna drag this shit out, aren't you? He cast- No, he's even more gold now! Now that he has Protect cast on him. Ha! Protect doesn't do shit against Soul Eater, buddy. I'm just gonna whittle him down with my Dark Knight Battering powers. If I can just reach my... Gold Door Repellent! Yeah, life's kind of dull when you're a white mage, I guess. Cure, Cura, 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 maybe Curaga, Curaja, however you pronounce those variants of Cure. Well, the knight almost got killed. That's something. Not sure why I stopped using Blizzaga in the first place. Ah, he's taking even less. Does Protect protect against magic too? Because that's bullshit. You're supposed to have to cast a different spell for that. Something tells me this gold freak doesn't play by the rules. Uh, what do I got that I can use on this prick? Ooh, I can tranquilize his ass. 
Somebody should have done that to him when he started collecting gold shit. Hit him with the trank dart! Put him in the loony bin! Well, that's just rude. Guess what, bitch? No soul for you! <laughs> Batman doesn't kill my ass! I just killed the shit out of that guy. I mean, even better Dark Knight now. And I got a high potion, so it was all worth it. Is it a gold high potion? Alright, that's enough gold shit. Gah! Stay away, you! If I can't have the crystal... Neither will you! Ha! Huh? Let's just stand here and watch him do this. Yeah, let's let's do that. Son of a bitch! He broke it! Can he do that? The crystal is mine! Ha ha ha! He disappeared. He turned into a key! By the heavens, what's going to happen to the world now? We gotta make our exit and find out. Wait, first things first. Let us acquire this key and free our ship from its bond. Oh, Dinkus, you're always so sensible. I got the chain key. For unlocking chains. In case you couldn't guess that. Alright. Unlock a -roo. I used the chain key. Now I can fly again, and there's some weird looking city over here with a castle and the. What the? Son of a bitch! They shot us down! Nobody told me this is a no fly zone! Yeah, oh, that's not good. Blark! Eh, uh, everybody all right? What happened? Obviously, a cannon shall disable our engine, but I do not know why they would fire at us. The Enterprise is in pieces! What are we gonna do now? I know we should not let Troy drive again. There's a Star Trek joke for all you nerds out there. This wind, it carries the sound and scent of war. Best be on our guards. The fuck? Is this West Side Story? We have no choice but to fight. If we lose, we'll be executed. Yeah, that's what the other guy said. Alright, I'll leave you guys to your bloody turf war. I'm gonna leave now. Let's check out the rest of this dump. There's like four parts of this giant city. Southwestern Saronia. I, I've seen it! Gigameth, the king's aide! His shadow was shaped like a giant bird! It looked... it looked like that fiend Garuda! Okay. Kind sirs and miss, have you seen a well-clad boy around the age of ten in this vicinity? What the... Somebody put this guy on a watch list! Creepy guy standing on the edge of town looking for little boys? The king doesn't listen to anyone. The last person who tried to advise him was run through on the spot. Well, I guess I won't try to advise him then. Who are you? I'm a researcher of chocobos. I've discovered the means to call fat chocobo. Here, let me demonstrate. <clears throat> chuck, choco, chuck. And of course, choco's in it like chocolate. Get it? Because he's fat. Ha 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 ha. Okay, <laughs> aren't you impressed? So we got a chocobo chubby chaser over here. This is where you stir all your shit. I I guess the idea is that the bird stores it in its massive stomach or something. I I don't know. But hey, at least there's a place to stroll your extra shit. That lad who walked into the tavern earlier, he looked very much like the prince heir. Well, I guess we're going to the tavern then, aren't we? Hey, get a load of this. This boy thinks he's the prince heir. Ha ha ha. Heh, I hope you know what the punishment is for impersonating a member of the royal house. French kissing? Hey, um, stop that! Way to tell him, Ark. What? You want us to stop? Then make us! The Orange Mohawk Gang is also gold enthusiasts! <laughs> Zero. Wow, you guys are tough. Your soul is mine! Got him. Shang Tsung style. It's all over. 
Refia gains a level, and so does Dinkus. Please, no more! We yield, Uncle Uncle! What a bunch of pansies. I am Alice, son of King Gorn, and rightful heir to the throne of Saronia. Thank you for your help, brave ones. Prince Alice, what's happening to this country? My father, the king, he suddenly ordered our soldiers to fight amongst themselves. I tried to stop him, but not only did he refuse to listen to me, but he threw me out of the castle. Probably because you got cat ears on there, kid. You look like a weirdo. Adventurers, I must ask for your help. I need to get back into the castle and convince my father to cease this nonsense. We're with you, Prince Alice. We'll do our best, even though you're a furry, clearly. I can ask for nothing more than that. Purr! I mean, thank you. Uh, yes, I know, that's probably supposed to be a crown or something, but it looks like cat ears. In my opinion. Let's have a chat with the prince, shall we? My father has changed. It is as if some evil spirit has taken hold of him. There must be a reason for all this. I'm sure he'll explain it to you when we meet him. Yeah, he totally will. I'd like to talk to him, but he told me never to return to the castle. Alright. Right about here, I should have started picking up on a pattern. But I didn't. Prince Alice, here, please take this with you. Here's some dragon mail. What class equips dragon mail? Dragoons. Anybody else? Nope. Hey, sex pervert. Prince Alice, you're safe! I have escaped the castle so I could give this to you. It's a dragoon weapon! A wind spear! Too bad dragoons suck, right? I mean, we established that a while ago. Southeastern Saronia. The tower in the middle of this district is called the Dragon Spire. You go to the top, there's a bunch of dragoon armor and shit. I didn't think this was significant, so... I stopped recording during this whole part. Nothing too exciting happens. You climb to the top of the tower, fight random battles, and then there's like... a bazillion chests. You get like four sets of dragoon armor. The game is thoroughly punching me in the dick right now, saying, Hey! Dragoons could be good! And me being stupid, I was just like, What am I gonna do with this crap? Prince Alice! Stand aside and let me through, bitch! I can't, sire! You've been branded in exile by the king! Throw your boomerang at him! What? The king wants to let them through? My apologies, sire. You may go through now. That's what I thought, peasant! Please rest here for the night. Your audience with the king is scheduled for tomorrow. Good night. Slumber party! Are you asleep? Oh shit. This is about to get hot. No, not yet. You, you wanna play tummy sticks? What's that? I'll show you. I can't help but wonder, what's happened to my father? Why would he expel his own son? Do you think he, he doesn't love me anymore? Sire! It's the cat ears, sire. No parent would ever lose their love for their children. Your father must have had a good reason for doing this. The cat ears. Don't worry, I'm sure the king will explain everything come tomorrow. I'm sure he will. Put your dick away, sire. I want to sleep. I, I guess you're right. Ark is a family counselor in his off time. Hey, it's the king, making a rare appearance. How's it going, buddy? <gasps> oh, shit! Alice, it is time for you to die! Father, what are you doing? What's it look like? Yes, what are you doing? Why did you stop? Kill him now! Oh, that Gigameth, he seems bad. Oh! I've always had bad aim! Father! <laughs> Father! There, I am free of your bonds! Huh? Huh, how did you break my spell? I would rather die than hurt my son. Your plans are foiled. Oh, bother. Well, have it your way. I'll just skip to the part where I kill you all. Bring it, you ginger. Prince Alice, stand back. We'll take care of this scum. How hard could it be, right? Oh, he's a bird guy. Ah, I got auto battle on. The emulator doesn't like that. All right, here we go. Soul Eater, and he's a flying enemy, so Arrow should hurt him a bit. What else we got? Blizzaga. And you just cut his dick off. Soul Eater. Got him. 
1256. Nice. Owned! So far, so good! What the... What the fuck is lightning? Hey, what the... Son of a bitch! <laughs> I fucking killed Lunith in one hit! Well, that's not cool. Hmm. Well, not a promising start, but... I've seen worse and come back and been victorious. I'm not scared of this punk. Alright. Need to bring the Dark Knight back from the death. I don't know why I said the death, but whatever. 1639. How many hit points could this guy have? This is easy. I'm tearing this guy's shit up. Of course, the Phoenix Down goes off after the healing spell, which she could have benefited from. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Double fuck! Okay, I think we see where this is going. Let's just skip to the inevitable conclusion where I get pwned. Well, that was shit. That lightning attack, I do not like it. 720 damage and I have 734 hit points, so that can't be good. Whatever, that was a fluke. Bring it, Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. I'm gonna tear your shit up. Rematch! Alright, as you can see, it's in fast speed. I don't know if that tells you anything. I got defend! I'm curing now that I'm, you know, already have full hit points because I'm stupid. Soul Eater goes off, does less the damage than from before. It's okay, we still got this. Stupid fly. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Luneth is. The Dark Knight has met his match in Birdman. Alright, it's cool. We got this. Phoenix down. Plazaga. Lightning. Son of a. Fuck you, rage quit. Alright, I had a safe state right here. I'm gonna try it again. This time, I'll totally win. Alright, Soul Eater. Plazaga. <laughs> Do the exact same thing that did not work the last few times. I guess I was convinced I just had to get lucky enough to where he wouldn't kill me somehow, but, um, yeah. Jesus Christ! Maybe Voss from Far Cry 3 can give us some words of wisdom. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again expecting oh, shit. shit to change that is crazy what the fuck do you know Voss shut up all right again I got it this time stupid sexy Voss all right we got him this time it's all over for you son of fuck 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 shit fuck all right let's look at the guide what's the guide say Oh, what do you know? The card says, Dragoons can beat this boss. Is that why the game gave me all that Dragoon shit and four pairs of Dragoon armor and... Fine game, we'll do whatever you want to do. Everybody turn into a Dragoon and look ridiculous. Bye, Dark Knight. We hardly knew ye. Four Dragoons. All right. Now I gotta re-equip everybody, I gotta buy eight spears so they can all dual wield them. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, isn't it? Good thing it gave me all half the shit for free. Alright, let's test out our new squad of Dragoons. Alright, now we can all jump! After we get poisoned, and turned to stone. Son of a bitch! This is not an auspicious start to our Dragoon party. Everybody's jumping. Now you can't hit any of us, because one of us is already dead. Wow, 2.30. We're gonna have to work on that there, uh, Ark. That's better. Pretty sure I still had him in the back row. That's probably why he was kind of weak. Or One of them I only had one spear equipped on. Eventually I... I level all of them up to about 10, between 10 and 15, and some of them were a little bit higher in Dragoon levels than others. And I give everybody dual spears, put everybody in the front row, 
And after all that, and a lot of extra time spent getting ready for stupid Harvey Birdman, we'll be ready for a rematch. Dragoons! <laughs> Man, someone's gonna get their eye put out with one of those hats. That's all I know. Good thing Goldor's not here. He tried to bone us. Look at all that gold. I love gold! Alright, you ginger fuck! Now you're gonna die! Yeah, okay, go ahead, stab yourself again. Nice going, King Gorn. Alright, blah 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 blah. How'd you break the spell? The power of love. We're gonna save state because I really don't want to do this again. I'm really tired of this boss. And I don't want Voss to chastise me again. Alright, fucko. Now you're gonna die. Dragoon powers activate! Ah, gonna turn off auto battle again. Alright, he's weak against the jump move and, and wind spells, and everybody's got wind spears equipped, I think, so... In theory, this should be an easy battle. Let's see how it goes. Might as well jump! Come on, everybody jump quick before he does a move. Ah, you stupid Angus! Angus, if you had jumped, this would not be happening to you. You have no one but to, bl to blame but yourself! Damn it, Angus! Alright, wow, 2284, nice. Alright, how hard could this be? I just owned him right there. 6,000 damage. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, jump quick. I said jump! No! No! Jump! Fuck! Oh my god. Jump. And jump. Okay, he can't hit me while I'm in the air, so that's, that's one thing, but if this doesn't kill him, I'm probably fucked. Oh, thank fucking god. <laughs> okay. So I had to super cheat my way to victory on that fight. That was my new hardest boss battle. Take that, Hein, you douche. Fucking... What the... Oh, I was playing the game over music. Father! Like, I think the game just assumed I would lose. Oh, Alas, my son, Gigameth had put a spell on me. I was afraid you would never forgive me for what I had done to you. But you came back. That is what gave me enough strength to break Gigameth's bonds. Aras, the kingdom is yours now. Stop the war and bring peace back to his people. I'm counting on you, son. Father, don't go! I'm twelve! I love you, Alice. Congratulations, guys. You're being ruled by a furry now. I hope you're happy. You have my thanks. If it were not for you, I would have hated my father forever. But now I'm the king! I want all four of you put to death! You never stop loving your father! Whatever. That's that's touching. I don't care. Thank you, Ark. I will take my father's place on the throne and undo what he was made to do against his will. That was his wish. You have my eternal thanks. You have saved Saronia and my father from Gigameth. All hail King Alice! You'll make a good king, I'm sure of it! Shut up, Ark. <laughs> Nobody likes you. All right, let's get these ridiculous costumes off now. No more of this dragoon shit. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be a pattern for later in the game where I get my ass kicked by bosses and have to figure out which new job that we've just been given is the one I need. We are the Saronian Engineers, the greatest minds in all the world. We've been expecting you. What's up with twins in this world, or clones or whatever? We've unearthed and restored a flying ship from the ancient ruins. It's called the Nautilus and it's yours to take. Oh, another airship? Let's go, guys. Man, the insurance premiums on this airship is going to be through the roof, considering I I totaled the last two. Oh, hey, wait for me! Ha ha ha! Clone humor. So humorous. More clangy clangy, and we got us an airship. We moored the ship outside the castle. Remember, it's called the Nautilus. It's a fine ship. Its engine should be powerful enough to take you through the wind that protects the Dalg continent. I'm now the prowner of the Nautilus. Well, considering I used to be the leader of the Enterprise, this is a downgrade. The only ones who were capable of creating an earthquake of that magnitude are the three wizards of the Dahl Continent. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you past the wind that guards Dahl through the arrow-shaped promontory. Warriors of the Light, you must now head to the Dahl Continent. The Dahl Continent? That name sounds familiar. It's that place I dreamed about. With that hot witch in it. 
Before he died, the great Magus Noah gave fragments of his own power to his three apprentices Zonde, Doga, and Une. Nice names. It's no Luneth, that's for sure. Alright, we got our fancy new airship. Whoa, this thing's fast. Holy shit. I'm gonna get ticketed for speeding for sure. I still can't go over mountains? Are you fucking joking? Fine. Alright, we finally find a way in, and we go into this building, and it is... Doga's Manor. Everybody knows Doga doesn't have manners. <laughs> Doga, you slob. Who dares trespass inside the great wizard Doga's Manor? Seize them! Koopo! Oh shit, it's rabbit moogles! Look out, they bite! Am I really supposed to be scared of these things? Wow, you guys are doing great. Hey, it's Mystery Robe Guy. Hmm, I know you, don't I? Ah, oh, the Warriors of the Light! Good of you to come, I have something to tell you. The one who is summoning the darkness into this world is none other than Zande. Bullshit, I bet you did it. Zande Une and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. When Noah died, he bestowed upon us gifts. The power of magic to me, the world of dream to Une. And to Zande, Noah granted him... Mortality? Huh? Of course Sandy was not pleased. Well, no shit. He covered this world in darkness and stopped the flow of time. It sounds to me like this is Noah's fault. Zende's plan was to stay his eventual demise by halting time itself. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zende seems intent on stopping time again. Come, you must help me stop Zande. Doka, the god, has joined our party. Or I guess he's a wizard, I don't know. Whatever. Either way, he doesn't, he's not going to do shit. Come, you must escort me to the Cave of the Circle. In my room is a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle on the wall is the switch that opens the hidden door. Whoa, they've never done that before. I never would have guessed if you hadn't have told me. Master Doga said that the flooding continent was created by the destructive waves of darkness that Master Zende called forth. Kupo! Makes sense. Lady Une is asleep in the shrine south of Saronia, protecting the world of dream, Kupo. Is that who that ugly person was I saw in my dream? Secret passageway! Yeah, there you go. I added a Legend of Zelda sound effect for you. How do you like that? Pretty cool, huh? Whatever, shut up. This hall leads to the Cave of the Circle. As you can see, you must be very small to enter. Okay, so we gotta shrink again, huh? I'm really tired of this shrinking crap. And I'm not even going to bother turning everybody into mages again this time. Screw it. There's only like two screens here. They both look identical, pretty much. I get jumped a few times, but I just use a couple of magic spells on my two mages and make it past them. Nothing exciting happens, so we're just going to skip to the end. Uh-oh. Cinema. Cough, cough. We must hurry. My time has almost come. No, Doga, we've developed such a bond! I will cast a spell on your ship so that it may travel underwater. Ooh, sweet. Nice of them to name the ship the Nautilus before it could go underwater. They must be psychic. The Nautilus can now travel underwater. After that gypsy curse he just put on my ship. Head south from Seronia. The Temple of Time lies between the pillars of Cape Twinhorn, and the temple is where you will find Noah's loot. What does Noah's loot do? It plays music, stupid! It's a magic loot whose timber will reach even into the world of dream. You must use it to call Une back from the world of dream. I will now use the circle to enter the rift between dimensions and find the key to Eureka! Your task is to wake Une and obtain the ancient ship known as the Invincible! How many airships are we going to go through in this game? You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. Give my regards to Une. Farewell, warriors of the light. We will meet again. Goodbye! Now we got our underwater ship. Woohoo! Check this shit out. Aw, oh, shit. It's only a matter of time before I find a way to wreck this thing. Are there monsters under here? Ah, oh, shit. Alright, how are we going to... Uh, wait, what? How are we breathing underwater? How does a fire spell work underwater? 
<laughs> These are questions you're not supposed to ask, I guess. We can breathe underwater, cause magic! Yeah! So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter at D0WNWHERE. And as always, you're welcome to donate to me on Patreon at patreon.com slash downware. See you guys for the next one.